after the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam passed away, Say, Sayyiduna Uthman bin Hanayf, you quoted the hadith of Sayyiduna Uthman bin Hunayf radiallahu an in your 40 minute or something lecture which you did prior to our debate, you did not quote the hadith completely. You did not quote the hadith, the initial hadith, the Tirmidhi hadith, the Musnad Imam Ahmad hadith, the Mustadrak Al Imam Al Hakim hadith, the hadith which has narrated, been narrated in Dala'ilun Nabuwa, numerous hadith books where Sayyidina Uthman bin Hunayf, what was the wording Sayyidina Uthman bin Hunayf taught the man? What was the exact wording? In that wording, he has, Ya Muhammadu sallallahu alayhi wa calls on the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Was this done by the companions after the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa passed away? Two points to note. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa taught the companion. The companion went away. The companion went away. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa was not present. He went and done wudu. He paid, prayed two rakats. This contradicts your conditions. You said in your conditions, the person must be hadir, the person must be hay, the person must be qadir, able to do so. The Prophet ﷺ was not present when the Sahabi went, done wudu, prayed two rakats, done the dua. The Prophet ﷺ was not present. So where did you bring this shart from? Complete your istiqra of all the hadith. In the particular hadith, the Prophet ﷺ taught the man to say, Ya Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, I use you as an intercession to Allah, not like the Mushrikeen, not like the polities when the Prophet Sallallahu was alive. And afterwards, Sayyidina Usman bin Hunayf radiallahu an taught another man the same, uh, the same teachings. Is this hadith weak? No, Al-Imam Tabrani stated Sahih.